So what sort of a change would Eva be? What sort of a threat might she pose to your chances of election victory? Well, ultimately, Territorians aren't silly people and Labor have been treating them like fools for a very long time. We've got skyrocketing levels of crime, an economy going backwards, and a Labor team who have been dogged by scandal, particularly this year, who simply can't get on top of the issues that are important to Territorians. And so mm. a shuffling of the deck chairs isn't going to breathe new life into this government and ultimately Territorians will be the ones to decide our future and if they choose to vote for change, next August in 2024, then we are certainly ready to govern and make the Territory a safe and strong place again. All right, but if this is correct and Eva Lawler becomes the Chief Minister, I mean specifically on her, what would you make about her, her rise to the top? Oh, look, I'm not going to get into personality politics. Uh, ultimately, all of them have a hand in destroying the Territory and that's not good for any Territorian and the people paying the price at the moment for Labor's dysfunction are Territorians who really need mm. this government focused on managing the Territory rather than managing themselves. And so we will see who comes to the top. I think there's a lot of bloodshed to come and uh, it's going to be a long few days in politics for Territorians. Could a driver's dog win the election for the CLP now? <laughs> Look, it's a hard slog. We've still got to get to August. We've been explaining to Territorians why community safety is a key issue for us, how we can grow our economy and mm. rebuild the Territory's reputation. We've started pre-selecting candidates and we will continue to connect with people right across the Territory as we march towards August. I, I, there have been two changes at the top now in 18 months. How can you assure stability if you win the election? We have. This will be the third Chief Minister under Labor and I think five Cabinet reshuffles. And what that means is paralysis across the public service and uh, that's never a good thing. But in stark contrast, the CLP are a strong and united team. Our first priority at all times is about the Northern Territory and the best interests of our community. We've got some really significant challenges and issues as a Territory that need to be resolved. And so my team, who has spread right from uh, Alice Springs right to the top end, are really keen to make sure that everything we do and say is coming from the ground. It's from what people are telling us is important to them and that our priorities align with Territorians' priorities and uh, we won't waver from that commitment. OK. Leah Finocchiaro, the Northern Territory Opposition Leader. Thank you, Leah. We'll talk to you soon.